This is showing the global production of vegetable oils and seed oils since the early 1900s. And what's interesting is that the diabetes rates match this very similarly. And there's a reason behind this that most doctors are actually unaware of. The classic two lines on a chart conspiracy. Global vegetable oil goes up, diabetes goes up, therefore vegetable oil causes diabetes. That's like saying the rise of Wi-Fi caused the Kardashians. Two things can climb together without being connected. It's called correlation, not causation. If we play this game, I can show you a chart where shark attacks match ice cream sales. So what's the conclusion? Ice cream makes sharks aggressive? A 2017 study found people with higher linoleic acid, which is the main fat in seed oils, in their blood have a lower risk of developing type 2 diabetes across 20 cohorts. That's lower, not higher. A 2019 follow-up pooled analysis found the same thing. A 2018 clinical trial found people with diabetes using seed oils like canola or olive is linked to improved insulin sensitivity and inflammation markers. Here's what's really going on. Diabetes rates are driven by multiple factors. Overall calorie intake, processed food, sedentary lifestyle, and genetics. Oils can be part of a messy modern diet, but they're not a secret diabetes ray gun. If anything, replacing butter and lard with polyunsaturated fats is neutral to beneficial for metabolic risk. So no, vegetable oils didn't single-handedly invent diabetes. That's like blaming dogs for climate change. Please like and follow for more.